Hello and welcome back for this video. In this video we want to speak about the Portainer and if you are in a Docker environment then you have the options to use the Community Edition. I use it on my home servers to control then I can get a, a more, um, more, more better overview about the, how my container environment it is. Normally I use the terminal but over time when you get a lot of uh, containers running then you can uh, missing the, the overview like the networks, volumes and everything. So I will uh, explain a little bit the Portainer. For this I want to install it on my local environment. For for my, I have the, the previous video where we speak about the Docker Swarm and for this I have uh, five uh, swarms on a VM. So that's what we're going to do today. So before we are starting to introduce how it's working, I will uh, ask you to subscribe to this channel. You can do it on the bottom to the right, in the down below in the corner on the thing. And uh, I will link for, for the Portainer uh, website in the description too. So that's what I think you need to, to work with. So let's uh, continue. I will open my terminal here. And uh, for this, we're going to say uh, curl and L https and the download links will be in the description too i think that would be easier for you to to get so if you don't want to type like me then uh, then go for my uh, for my description and see that and what i'm gonna do now is just download the interface from the stack and then i want to call it for portainer agent spec jaml and then when we download it down i can just say docker stack i need to of course to do docker stack deploy compose file is equal to portainer And then we call it Portainer. And something is wrong here. I think I have a spelling error, so I just want to copy this. And going one up. And I want to be sure this is uh, working, so that's what we're gonna do. And something is running up now. So the Portainer, it's up and running, just a minute. And if we just, for fun, uh, go inside, here and see the file you can see we are working on the global mode so that's meaning we uh, split out for all the, the, the containers i'll just to do uh, dog on node ls then you can see we have uh, all the nodes here and then we need the service ls then we have the agent here is spreading out for five on all the the dog or host and then we have the the backend it's running on the master that's what we're gonna to do here and i'll log in the web interface and uh, then we it's good to go so let's go back for the uh, chrome here and i will type it down up here and i will go for 100 and here and 150 and then 29,000, and then we're good to go is uh, the username should be element that's fine for me and i'm just testing this with the one two Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And everything here should be fine, but the password should be eight character long. Long, so I just use my normal password here. So that's creating a user. And nope, and nope. And you can see we have uh, two services and one stack. And uh, that's fine for now. And eight containers. Let's see what's happening. We have two stopped and six running in services. And see, this is the primary one. I'll just see the stack. And uh, we have global agents. So that's fine. We have all of those uh, one worker, one uh, manager, manager, worker, and worker. So right now, we basically have all we want. And uh, I will. Uh, Give you a little sneak peek here 
The containers is all your containers. If we don't need those containers, we can just remove it and say we don't want this anymore. And then we have images. You can see we have a lot of images here. We don't use it anymore. I just need to remove those images. Then this way you can clean up uh, everything you want. And you can see where the host is and uh, it's it's going for the swarm worker one and worker two and everything here. And I just check about this is correct. Let's give it a little bit more. And uh, what we're got, not gonna remove is those here. And else we just can remove all the images. And uh, that's perfect because then we can clean it up. Before you need to type like the clean up uh, containers, images and everything here. And the interface here will make it much easier for you to, to work with. I will recommend you to, to work with this. And if you are a big company and work together, you can always buy the enterprise solution if you need. It's not necessary for my purpose. And uh, you can see I have a bridge mode here system and the docker here where we are runner I can see everything so right now it's basically run as I really love and then you just remove it up and clean it and if I'm going back for my, my host you can see now I'm just using a 2.7 gigabyte out of 150 so everything running smooth now again so I'll come back that's how a uh, Potain is working and I really hope you enjoy this video and this is a, a little bit sneak peek about it. Thank you so much for, for staying here today and thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you next time and don't forget to subscribe this channel to going on the right uh, corner in the button and click on the thing and share it with your friends, like it and push the uh, comments if you have any kind of uh, questions. Before we are running on I'll just use the showing you the swarm. So this is my swarm and we can see everything here it's working as it should be. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.